Oh, sorry, next door. Went all the way from Bugasong to every hardware store, all the way to Pagnonan. No half inch hardy flex. You know, to go on the face, you know, to put that uh, cement on the face there. So, I just don't know what I'm gonna do here. I guess I'm gonna have to go to San Jose. So I'm gonna pack up my bags and go, I guess. So color of the dirt changed, didn't it? <laughs> so I'll well, set so a GoPro eight my footage that I had this morning. This is build day 204. Wow, a little bit of tide must have. I don't know how it's still wet. Jeez. Don't know. Anyway, I will go home and eat lunch and then. No, I guess I could. Just pay a jeep me to carry two pieces. All right, peace out. I don't, I don't feel like going to San Jose, but you know, this, this, all the hardware stores around here are all half stocked. It's just ridiculous. So, anyway, it's neither here nor there. Got to shake it off. Shake your booty. Shake your shoulders. Knock the dust off. Continue to roll. And just think how beautiful it is at your house when you get back home. Wow. Look at that. Gorgeous. Okay. Let me get down here and put that rock up there against the fence. Look, I'm getting a lot of landfill from the fence up there, which is a big good thing. All right, peace out from 62 to Freedom. Thanks for all my subscribers for hanging in there. We're gonna make some progress on here. If I gotta go get the drop ceiling myself, we're still making progress. We're just working on stuff that, you know, was going to be near the end. But, I mean, we're going to work on it. We're going to get it all done. If we have to, we'll start working on this fence. And then I'll get all the bids. When I get some time, I'm going to get the bids for all the windows and doors. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to install them. So, all right, peace out for 62 for you. Thanks for watching. He's here, everybody. You can stop holding your breath. <laughs> I said seven. Half a day. I said. I can't believe it. Oh, Gary told me your motorcycle broke down. Oh yeah. Acid from what? From Sprite. Maybe. Coffee. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, I'm still, I searched from Bugasong on my scooter all the way to Pagnonin. No half inch hard of flex. No? No. Quarter inch only all the way down. Uh, but no one, no? No. I went to every, every hardware store from Hart all the way. E-E-S-E-N or whatever it's called. 
that one in Pagnona and off the road. And then in the curve by the bridge. That one? Yeah, everywhere, everywhere. In back of the, no? Yeah, on the, on the corners, in the back, back yeah. there. Yeah. Back of the, the lake? All one quarter. So welcome to 62 to Freedom. And uh, I just got back from lunch late. I got back late because I had to set up, uh, I went all the way to Pagnonan, which is like 10 miles, 15 miles down that way, where there's a lot of hardware stores in between there. It's really like, I guess, 20 miles. So all the way through like four cities and checked all the hardware stores and none of them had uh, party flex that we needed to go underneath the uh, uh, concrete facing on the balconies, the face of the balcony, both balconies. So my wife needed to go to San Jose anyway. So I talked to her and she found, you know, we called EI, our old supplier that we used to use all the time for all the big orders. We called them and they did have the half inch hard to flex. So she went there first and put two pieces of hard to flex on a white jeepney and it's coming back here so it's going to be coming it's on its way here with the two pieces of hard to flex she said that they know where the place is but i don't know i guess you know it's the only one in zaragoza with a big blue roof <laughs> so they're mostly painting right now so they're painting and making the back fence you see them back there they're digging you know one's got a digger and there's a couple shovels going back there and then they're hauling it here still and these rocks there's a lot of rocks that it has in here i'm going to put these all up against the fence so i'm going to stack stack them outside instead of in here because i want soil in here mostly this is starting to get double doubled up so i don't want to do that because see underneath that uh drain plug right there just to the bottom of that drain plug is all the soil is going to go high so i got i want at least 18 inches of soil to plant stuff in and stuff so it's going to be um rocks are going to go help the outside i'm going to start putting those out there now so they're in there painting you know we got a little bit of color it's a little bit too much white i'll show y'all what the color is later so uh, it matches everything let's put it that way <laughs> anyway so everything's going well and look at all these rocks i'm gonna stack up outside the fence so i'm gonna start doing that now and that log wouldn't burn so they put it over there to um to decompose over there underneath the soil so this soil down from down there is really helping down here with the fill and if i need more richer soil or something like that or you know some maybe mix up some cow manure with it if i got to do that later i will but not right now so i'm just going to get it all in here pretty level and try to keep as many rocks out as i can and then, you know, the yard is going to come along slowly. So, that's all there is to it. So, it's, it's beautiful. It's kind of, it's a little bit warm, but not too bad. And uh, the chickens come for a little bite. It a poor, uh, ah, poor papaya trees really took a beating from that salt spray that, during the storm. So, there's nothing I can do about it. Let's see if they recover. I didn't plant them there. Those were volunteer papaya trees. Evidently, it's a little too close. So I'm gonna get busy and start piling these rocks up. I'm gonna show y'all uh, on the inside when the day is over. So peace out. So that's the hard flex that I couldn't find anywhere around here that's half inch thick. So it looks like it's in pretty good condition.
You can carry that by yourself, Marvin. <laughs> so what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Miss me. Be careful. It must be very heavy. <laughs> so that's the footing. That's where we're getting all the and that cliff. We're getting all the dirt from. Gonna get a lot of dirt from down there. Look at that big half of part of the hill. The hard flex is heavy, huh? So you do that? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all looked at the little guys. We're struggling. <laughs> Jesus couldn't reach it. That was heavy one. It's like rock. Smell of paint fumes in the afternoon. It's a good time. <laughs> one half? That's one half, right? Yeah, one yeah. half. Yeah, I'm, our contact at EI, she don't play around. Really. Yeah. She it's, knows what she's doing. Because uh, the take care is good, yeah. long lasting. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's pretty heavy though, looking at her face. Yeah. <laughs> it's heavy, like <laughs> rock. Like rock. Yeah. Cement, yeah. like cement. Yeah. So this is the color. Really super sky blue. This is the first coat. So there'll be one more coat. So there's the difference between the white and the really super light blue. So that's just the contrast because the tiles are gonna be white. The ceiling's gonna be white. We didn't want to make the walls white also. It just didn't make no sense, really. Um, it's too much white like a hospital or something. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a, you know, <laughs> yeah, school or a hospital or a prison maybe or something. So, 
we see the blue. So that's gonna match everything else. See, we even got blue breaker switches. <laughs> we got blue breaker switches to match the house. So it'll be another coat, so it'll be, uh, make sure that it covers well. And it'll last longer, too. So, you know, these are for the um, face of the balconies, like I said. So those uh, um, artistically formed concrete accents can go on there. So this will go under it to keep it from, uh, to be, there won't uh, be any problem under there. So that's what it's all about. So. Peace out from 62. I'm gonna get back down there. I got more rocks to haul down there. I'm gonna get the haul of some rocks. So I'm gonna put off the um, the varnishing the uh, Bakuba thing till tomorrow or another day or something. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is what I'm thinking. Gary was sitting here. He's the leader. See, these don't have a back on them. <laughs> so Gary was sitting here. Hey. Look, Gary was sitting here. Jesus there. Uh, Marvin A, Marvin B, Run Run, Rooney, JoJo, uh, Clear. Uh, Mario. Mm. <laughs> look, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo! And you're there. Huh? And that's it, there. That's yours. You're <laughs> now this is you. That's <laughs> Jesus. Marvin A. Marvin B. <laughs> run, run. Mario, G, uh, on and on and on. <laughs> I don't know what they're planning. They're laughing up there. <coughs> we're just messing around. We're just messing around. Anyway, uh, I'm glad that uh, the Hardy Flex came. The Hardy Flex came, and nobody was riding with it. So, but it got here. That's all that matters. It's all that matters. <laughs> okay, I'm going to dig me some more rocks out of here. Let me get my hands on some more rocks. 62 out. That's literally right in front of my house over there. On the beach, that's where I just left from. Yep. That's literally right in front of my house. I gotta get home because I'm hungry. 